Good morning, or good night, or good evening, or good afternoon. Clavicans, it's one like your immortal overlord, Clavicus. It is 12.25 in the morning here, so hence the uh, good morning. Um, but then I realise life is global. And it, who knows, you're probably not up, or you could be up at 12.25 watching this. Who knows? So anyway, this is <coughs> Shard number 3, episode 4, I believe. And I said I was going to finish this shard, and I was going to get the cartographer um, uh, bonus. So that's my goal. That is my goal here. Um, these people don't seem to have much money, so everything seems fairly undefended. Which is making my life kind of easy. Now, where's my archer? Ah, my archers. My scouts. My scouts here. Exploring the province. Maybe there's something that they can go and attack. Oh, I don't have. Oh, that's a holy land, so that's why I don't own it. <coughs> Let's try and there we go. That's some stuff that they can attack. Let's not not do things in halves, eh? Oh, that's right. I've got my um. I can start to correct some of these um, people being super pissed off at me by putting um, uh, tribes instead of walking dead as guards. Anyway, for now we'll move here and finish our encirclement of our enemy camp. Um, <clears throat> and we will build Well, bandits sound nice and evil, so we'll get a bandit lair. No, we'll get bandits, whatever. What, what do they call it? What do they call it? A brigand lair, which will allow for a bandit lair. <coughs> That's an evil thing to do. We can cast Walking Dead. So let's do it. Walking Dead. A four-armed skeletal monstrosity has risen from the burial ground to join the hero's party. There you go. So this is one of those cool undead, the Reaper that I was talking about. You know, still only, still only rank one, but they've got a mass attack. So they, they they attack everybody around them. They also reduce morale, uh, like when they attack, and um, yeah, they're 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 pretty good, pretty good. <coughs> Level 13 as well. I'll take that. Anyway, we'll attack here. Now let's end this. Okay, so we've got a gang leader, brigands, and renegades. Let's engage them. Let's see what this skeletal monstrosity can do. Okay. We'll get rid of their ammo for starters. That's what we will do. No ammo for you. Just six damage. I guess I'll... I mean, this guy doesn't matter anymore. anymore. No, he does still have six, six ammo, so I'll... Chuck that at him. And I'll start destroying things. I want to use my mass attack. So, um... I'll come and destroy this. Ooh, I won't destroy it. And I will mass attack. There we go. You see how it's like damaged everything around them. Okay, things are getting dicey. I'm definitely playing loose and um, fast here, but it looks like things might die. Things being this barbarian, but 
We'll see what happens. <coughs> nope, the barbarians survived. I think I should heal the heal him up though. Like this. And he's just looking for a fantastic mass attack. From oh, he can move. He can move. Oh, I can't get there. I was, I was hoping he could get here. And then just mass attack all of them. Mass attack. It's like massive attack. But mass attack. Hmm. They were relatively easy to destroy. And we have an uprising in Cobalt Hills. They're gonna pay for this. And they did. <coughs> Alright, so. We've got a knowledge store. Knowledge store, knowledge, no, sorcery stores that I can hire gargoyles at. Not knowledge. Oh, I remember I've got that incinerate spell that I haven't um, equipped yet either. So I'm going to build a mill. We're going to hire some Walking Dead. And we're actually going to enter this store so that I can get access to that um, incinerate spell. <coughs> Um, this scout can continue over here. We're on our way to greatness. We will... I'm gonna build the fort. But, yeah, see I don't... If I had access to level 2 things, things, things would... At level two um, military quarters would pop up, so there's absolutely zero point in me building that fort. But I did it anyway. <coughs> I wonder if there's like a medal for like owning every single province. Maybe. I don't even know. Okay, we're going to go this one. So this one's going to be a bit... Oh, no. We're going to go into this store. What am I doing? What am I doing? We want to go to the store. I want them to go there. I build a mill. I build a fort for no reason whatsoever. It's the end of this turn. Alright, so... <coughs> they have access to... Um... Uh, like a shipbuilders guild. So they're attacking me across the waters. Well, that is no good. I will destroy them. I probably won't though. Nope, they survived because I only had my poxy little rangers here. <coughs> He's going to pay for this. Alright, so... This northern straw has a beholder and a darkness chosen and a guardian of darkness and a darkness craver guarding it. Well, I'm still going to enter it and see if I can make a special order. Alas, I can't accept your order. I was robbed of my family crest ring. No scrolls I scribe will have the magical power they need without that seal. I can't believe that some blockhead thief is wearing this ring on his finger now. Having no idea of its true value, I have enough for you. Bring the ring back to me and I will scribe and create... Scribe the crate golem score for you. For free, of course. That sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah. 
Yes, let's have a look. Oh, I haven't dropped off the incinerate into the... So, I was thinking I'll be able to pick up the incinerate spell from here. Mm. <clears throat> so, this is all kind of pointless. Um, all pointless. All pointless. I'll take the treasure from the peon. This guy's finding stuff that is not his. Um, I don't care about his displeasure. <coughs> Alright, so I'm not too worried about this guy going anywhere. Um, yeah, so they've got the Inferno, the Inferno spell. We need to drop this off, so I'm going to go there. Um, I'm going to charge towards here. I'm going to make him pay for his impudence. Um, and we're going to place a tribe guard here. Let's do it. And I'm going to build I'm going to build a jewellery store. Alright, let's attack. So, I obviously haven't lost, learnt their lesson from last time. That these people serve me <coughs> absolutely no problems whatsoever. Play a little bit more careful. Okay, this is looking like a good skeletal monstrosity attack. Has it damaged all of them? Whew. Now, one of these guys will still have ammo, but it'll burn the ammo. <coughs> Oh, still alive. Well, he feels pain, so he's not going to do much damage. Um, we're going to leave it at that. Right, let's heal up this my barbarian. Yeah, also monstrosity is just so cool. I guess as a necromancer, you don't care so much about um, stamina. If, if, like, if I get full necromantic, um, <coughs> battle frenzy, defense, battle frenzy, and we will attack the warrior. Hey, warrior, mate, you're going down. Right, he's probably got some spell that might be able to kill this, so I'm just gonna start off by webbing him before then charging forwards as fast as I can. The web's actually lasting quite a while. <coughs> Alright, let's for the spice of life. 
Let's make this guy hit even harder. Oh, is he gonna... Well, that was quite... <gasps> underwhelming. And we've got another rebellion. Well, they're gonna pay for it. And they did. Alright, so you can see that they've built ship shipbuilders guilds here and here. That's these things. They've also built one here, which has given me vision um, of this. Now, they've actually done me a favour. And now, <coughs> I don't know how they've got shipbuilder skills yet. Um, this is you know, a fairly advanced structure normally or something. Like, um, you know, you wouldn't have it by shard 3 normally. But anyway, there's there's one province left here, which I can fortunately just go here to see, and I'll get I'll get my forests back because <coughs> they have no way of getting there now because they are ringed by Walking Dead that they're not not going to be able to defeat. Meanwhile, we'll go to the treasury cell. So we'll drop this off. And we'll also buy four of these. This is this is all for my main for this dude, by the way. So that he can he can pick it up when he goes to the shop. <coughs> and we'll repair all. Alright, and we'll go here. For the for the spice. And we'll build a pub. So, see, I'm not, I'm not all, I'm not all, all bad. Giving people places to drink. Anyway, let's end turn. We'll capture the province. My spies report that lightning has struck a boulder in the province of Archer's Thicket. Well, that's um. That's uh, fitting, seeing as I have seeing as I have forests, archers guarding this place. We will set up a gold mining operation, and that will just get us gold. Excellent. I'm not going to reward anybody for their hard work. The deputy of Black Root Province informs you that a hero known as a snake hunter has turned up in their lands. He has slain the giant snake that they kept the whole province of fear, but the locals did hardly have any time to rejoice when new troubles began. The huge spiders the giant snake had preyed upon are now breeding and attacking the locals. Let's turn to let's turn to a specialist and we'll get some adventures, I guess. The adventures Beat off another invasion of spiders, but they failed to discover and neutralize the cause. <coughs> well, that's not very good. I'll take half of their payment away then. People eventually say that they did their best and they're not going to give you half their payment. Take it from them by force. They were only at 20%. Alright, alright then. Alright, fine. If that's the way you want to be. We shall get some Walking Dead <coughs> guard in this province. So for some reason they build an outpost here. I guess it kind of makes sense, seeing as I blocked them off from going um, back to their main province. Um. <clears throat> I guess it won't take me too long if I wanted to capture this entire shard. I could just, you know, capture this. And let's go to Pack of Ratmen. And we will. Oh, I've already built. Build a, got a guard. Uh, where did I get a guard this turn? 
Oh, that's right, I got the um, Walking Dead here. We'll build, in, build an armory. <coughs> and we'll end turn. And we'll capture this province and we'll begin a siege. Giant rats and rat men. Ooh, let's attack. We don't have a good history of giant rats and rat men, do we? We don't. We don't generally like, generally like giant rats and rat men. But we're gonna do our best to uh, destroy them. We'll back away just because I don't want to die. I still might die there. Uh, this guy's sort of about two, so he won't die. <coughs> All good. Giant rats and rat men dealt with, and we shall get. Let's just ah, uh, let's get scouting. Then I can poison people, like poison the water. Um, <clears throat> we'll get hit points. We get morale. We get attack. Deadly terror. So this you can. Terrorize a province. I'm um, loaned morale by seven for ten turns, so it's, it's a good thing to do before like invading like a province. And we've got exorcism, um, which is another second level spell. It's like basically it's a second level um, shock, so it does 16 points of magic damage to undead or demons, increasing significantly with spell power, <coughs> and it also immobilizes a target for one turn. So it's a super good spell. But you know it is a level two spell. All right, so let's have a look. We'll put a tribe down here. We'll build a pub. I wonder how long this is going to take to to siege. I guess we'll find out. Um, we'll tell us a lot. <coughs> what kind of mercenary is going to get? I can get a cutthroat. That sounds good to me. Let's go get a cutthroat. And just to make sure that he doesn't disappear, um, I will hire him now. So the fort does allow me to, to keep level 2 um, dudes, like rank 2 dudes, in my garrison. So the fort was absolutely pointless, but yeah, we'll get that for series. No, there'll be no loafers. Aren't you going there? And we'll continue the siege. And well, they're rebelling, but now I've got Walking Dead in this province, so you guys don't stand a chance. Half the population of the province of Wheatfield refuse to work. They demand that your deputy arrange a holiday as well. I will hang everyone who refuses to work. That's what you get. Don't mess with me. Um, we shall. There we go. Nice evil cutthroat. People seem to like it. That's raising their morale quite a bit. 
and we will drop off the exorcism spell. Um, <clears throat> now I guess at this point, well, one, do we have fair wind? We do we have fair wind? It's probably not going to make much of a difference. Casting it from here. I just want to decrease the amount of time. Um, that's right. That's that's right. This guy's got kobolds. He's got kobolds written all over him. Let's go. We'll finish that quest, and we'll build a bandit lair. And have I? We'll get. Okay. We'll continue the siege. The devils come to you following off you. Open a portal to chaos in the province of Buffalo Steps and he will give you a magic artifact. I will politely refuse. Do you really have to sink so much? Okay, so I'm only making one um, gem a turn, so this is problematic. I have too much walking dead around the place, I think. Um, <coughs> so anything that doesn't have to be walking dead, I'm now changing to tribes. And now you can see I'm making two. But yeah, I, ha I, I have a big gem problem, but hopefully that can be fixed when I defeat these kobolds. Ten fucking kobolds. I'm not going to defeat them, I don't think. But, it doesn't matter. I can still complete my quest, even if I don't survive. So this is my goal. <coughs> my goal is still to... to defeat the kobolds. Um, we will poison the water so they, now they're losing some um, damage each turn. vulnerable but I don't know how how big a problem that is like like I said it's a little bit of a problem <coughs> only one of these people can attack me anyway um, So one of these I care about more. I guess I care about him more, so I'm gonna heal him. There we go. There they are attacking me. Oh, he's going back over.
I really hope this doesn't kill my archer. Ah, oh, the archer is dead. That's alright. These guys will come back <coughs> in his army. But the most important thing is that I will choose gems and I get 180 gems. And we'll upgrade these people. And we also got horror, horror. Reduce the morale of all enemies within one time by 14. Holy fuck balls. <sighs> okay, so that's also giving me another good. <clears throat> and I will res resurrect the hero straight away by lots of things. And I'll continue the siege. So good on this series. Um, you did well. You did well. Um, we'll head back here. Um, and we'll change this for a tribe. Slowly getting my gem income back. Um, let's just continue the siege for a little bit. Giant spiders again! I'll execute the deputy for tolerating such a thing. I did everything I could. <clears throat> Does that make him less or more pissed off at me? <laughs> I think that would have made him less pissed off at me. That was interesting. So we'll drop that there. We'll repair. Now I have so much money, I may as well buy copper rings for myself. Even get a commander's medal. Let's hire some troops. I'll get the lizardmen. And I'll get some barbarians. Now let's, oh, and then I will go to the crystal. So I should have waited to hire the troops. So that was inefficient of me. Because now I'm paying up Pete for one turn. Not that it matters. Because um, I'm making so much anyway. Choose a quest of Loke. Okay, I need to kill some Night Shadows. Alright, I'll be back soon. So that's Dark Elves. It's, it's not the easiest um, of quests. webbing him because he's got first strike and you know don't want to oh. take damage if I don't have to oh. my skeletal monstrosity is demolishing things all right we've got a rebellion that was easily squashed um, night shadows night shadows they're really not the easiest of things um, to destroy. Alright, we'll get a tribe here. And we will garrison this with a thief. Because they're the foxiest units that I can get. Let's go to the Prince's Land. After casting Walking Dead. We're getting another zombie. Actually, can I build? Oh, oh I've got a shop here. Let's go to this shop. So, I want to explore. I will go to the shop a tailor store and I will build a library no there'll be no loafers where can you go 
We can go here. Alright, we'll enter the shop. We'll make special orders. Unfortunately, I don't have any special orders, but I've got access to my stronghold stuff from this shop. So I want to give me myself some stamina. You know, it's hard to tell, like, salmon is so important. I'll wear the shoulders, the sh the sh the, sh the soldier's overshoes just as I can, but there's actually sandals of illusion here, which, um, they're very mage-like, so they give you hit points and stamina. And what the hey, I have the money, so I'll buy them, I will sell that. And we'll sell the sandals. There's also shoes of incantation, which would have increased <coughs> um, my summoning power, but I, I can't afford that. The rest is all kind of crap. Um, but anyway, most importantly, I want to grab these high level spells as well. And I'll sell these iron rings so that I can then go to my library and. Um, respect my spells um we have a famine going on and i'm going to make profit by selling food at exorbitant prices excellent excellent all right so respecting my spells so i have inferno i have horror Get the summon. Do I even want the summon the fit? Get horror. I was, just wasn't one hundred percent certain that I'll get um. I do, do I want three heals? Three heals seems a bit excessive for a necromancer. Now the exorcism. I'll chuck that there, and I'll go here and. That's looking alright. Okay, I know there's some centaur lads beneath me actually. Oh well. That should all be good, should all be good. There's some princess lands. Let's go to the princess lands. And these dudes can attack the adventurers. And now do I have more now I, I really do want the walking dead defending them but in the meantime okay so i need to build like say a dark tower or something so i can get start getting some more gem income which i will build here i guess why not so it increases spotting range um, let's have a look. Increases spawning range, decreases mood, increases gem yield by three per turn. So now I've got a four gem um, income. And we will attack. Let's try and not to use too many gems, eh? I think that's a ticket. Why they're attacking things at such a high um, <coughs> such a high uh, range defense is beyond me. Can't heal. 
I can't I thought I could heal my skeleton. Oh, that's a bit stupid. That's alright. I'll just web this guy and my skeleton will be safe. And we will attack the adventurers. Let's have a look. We'll poison the water. Now we've got some flaming arrow dude here. Which means I want to start to get to them as quickly as possible. I don't have heals knowledge, which is frustrating. Alright. Take him out. Well, shoot him with that. Take out the dwarf. Things are going well for us. And the poisoned water supply finished it off. <coughs> we'll get some looting. Or should we get archery? Let's get archery to make my dude a bit stronger. Ooh. Parry or backstab? So, what exactly? So, backstab. When an attack is to backstab, an ally stands the opposite tile. So, successful backstab increases the unit's morale. So, that's kind of cool. I can backstab people. <coughs> I will go parry for now. Because um, I didn't even really know about backstab. Because I don't play evil enough. Summon Nyad and a chess piece. An adventurer known as the Skold found the ancient crypts in the province of Rainbow Valley. He's asking you to help him with gear. He needs to explore what he's found. He promises to hand over half of whatever spoils. Okay, let's see. Let him do it. Ah. Execute him. People of them people. Well. Oh, I now don't have the I don't have the gems again. I will politely refuse. Okay, I'll get a tribe. I'll build a mill. Now these centaurs, these may actually prove a little bit difficult for me. And um. Let's see how things go. <coughs> they can go to orcs. And I will build a tailor store. Four centaurs. Alright, let's see if I can manage to deal with these centaurs. Um Yes, they're by these they by no means should be um underestimated. One, two, they could probably move four and they probably have charge. So one, two, three f so I need I need to be careful about my placements so. I <clears throat> okay, we will make use of some of our good spells, so we will horror these people. Alright, they're scared as fuck, which is good, except this guy's got one morale left, but let's see how long that lasts for. When I come along and smack him! Nearly died. <laughs> I'm 
So that horror spell was like super strong. <coughs> but it did take a lot of a lot of gems. What, you want to come back for more? You want to come back for more, do you? We'll heal this dude. And centaurs are dead. Unfortunately, I didn't get any gems. And then we will, we will attack these, um... These orcs, and we will poison the water, of course. Uh, level two, mm. not too dangerous. No pun intended. Well, oh, I don't have any. I don't have any gems. And this guy's going nuts. It's like he wants to die. Can we save his life? Oof. They're not making it easy for me. I'm trying to save your lives. Oh no, that was intercepted by the lizard. So the lizardman kept my barbarian alive through an interception. And there we go, I make it look easy. <laughs> when really it was not. Uh, we'll take better frenzy in resistance. Let's take some hit points and defense. Alright, so the centaurs are super pissed off at me. Why would they be so annoyed? I'll just put a vassal guard here, I guess. They don't take any um, gems to uh, um, to upkeep. So we'll move there, slowly conquering the entire shard. I'll just explore. I want to say I want to save up some gems. Approach the adventurers. So while exploring the province of Cobalt Hill, Hills, a hero series encountered adventurers heading back from unexplored lands. Nothing else unusual has been spotted. We'll approach them. So we've got an elf, a dwarf, a halfling, a cobalt. We'll talk to the adventurers. And we'll say, by law, half of the loot belongs to the Lord. It seems to me that if you try and make them give you everything, they will just attack you. But you do this, and you get some loot. It's not the best... Um, not the best loot. But, good boy. We'll, we'll, we'll send them on their way. Mm, this is sad. That our, our adventurers have defended our capital um, quite well. Okay. Let's go to Lizardman. And we'll take out this place. We'll capture the province and we will attack the Lizardman. Holy fudge. My people aren't very healthy. We'll 
poison water. Lizard has served me well. Summon Nyad and cure wounds. Another uprising. This is sad. You just start getting uprisings like all the time. It gets a bit annoying. Like, you know, um, we'll get a tribe to defend this place. And we'll have a look. Now. I guess I need to take this place over. And so we can go back. See, I had thought about going back and getting um, another spell. If I'd had another cure wounds, none of that would have happened. It would have all been good. Um, ah, look, we'll get an infirmary. Why not? That must be my good nature coming through. Let's attack these people. Okay. Oh, I don't have... well... I don't have much, um... I'll probably let them waste... Waste ammo on this dude. Oh, when it comes to wasting ammo on the barbarian, though, that's another matter. We'll give this barbarian a flaming sword and we'll fuck their shit up. Zombie had fever, causes fever. Fixed target mild disease units, attributes all decrease by one, and it loses one stamina a turn for five turns by the looks of things. So that is pretty cool. So I actually don't want this zombie to die. Um, but I also don't want this dude to die, so I'm gonna have to heal him. And he can continue his oh well his quest for domination. 
let's move here. Maybe I can move this down here. I'm not going to attack. I'll let that allow them to tap me because then I get this, this circle ranged attack on like these first strike people and do a lot of damage to these um, first strikers without actually having to take the first strike, if that makes sense. <laughs> Turn to a specialist and we'll get a witcher. And then we get a spider's egg. Very well then. And again, we don't have. Yeah, we, we have serious gem problems. Um, we will politely refuse again. Um, but now. That reminded me that I should be getting another quest. So, if I go to, go to the, oh, I've already got a quest. What is it? Night Shadows. God damn it. All right, we'll take a heal. Now, what have we got here? Soul Trap. Cure Wounds. Summon Nyad. All, all of this is gonna give us um, gems. Um, I guess maybe I'll keep one chest piece. Which one's better? This one. So that did help out quite a bit. We'll get the flag of intrepidity. Um, because that's <coughs> a good thing for my um commander to have. Also, a traveling cloak, and I'll track a traveling cloak on them. Um, now I can get some cloth braces. Some um, seems kind of poxy. Also, my commander can wear some cloth braces, so why not? And I don't think my commander has a helmet either, so we'll do something like that. Ooh, but my. Commander can also wear simple chainmail. Now, as well, so we'll do that. Feels like I've got all the money in the world, and we'll build a stable. And here, we will build a sawmill, and we will hire some foresters because it's a forest. And that's just how I like to roll. Alright, we'll come down to this store so I can pick up those things. And then we'll take out these provinces. And then I'll literally, and then we'll take out this one. And I'll literally control every province possible. And that will be the end of this episode. So, let's do it. Um, this guy. Let's get a veteran spearman. Why not? Why not indeed? I see that they're not wearing any footwear, so we'll give them some less OP sandals now. Um, and now Knowles. Knowles, indeed. Um, Probably something like that. So probably gonna be better. Have I have I looked at those knolls? No. Let's do something like that. Even though it's gonna it's gonna cost me um, in gems. My gem income is is six, so it's improving. Go to the knowledge store. Um. 
go to pub. We still don't have any guards here. Hmm. We'll put a local militia in there. And then get some um, lizardmen defending it. Lo local militia is pretty cool, I think. It's when you get the... Is it when you get the armory? Uh, when you get the fort, you can get the local militia. So, local militias aren't too bad defence, so you can only hire them in provinces. Um, or oh, there's a holy lands. <laughs> you, you can only get them, you hire them in provinces that are, um, that are happy, I guess. Like, so... I couldn't hire them here, here, um, because they're too pissed off at me. Um, oh no, we are going to this, um, duck. we're going to the store, and we've built everything that we can. Oh, we can build a practice halls. It's, oh, there'll be no loafers, you guys, go to the knolls and turn. Alright, we've got three pack warriors, let's see how this turns out. And we'll poison the water. Kind to me. <laughs> and those knolls are dead. We'll take diplomacy. Um, so that gets you, uh, gets you additional dialogue options and also improved rewards for finishing quests. Although the dark sh shadows or whatever had dark elf quests that I've got at the moment is not the easiest. And that sounds good. And we've got an ancient mine, which is excellent to build on. Uh, um, Excellent to build on. Um, places which have uh, on hills that have like resources. So we get the flag of int intrepidity. Is that what I want to do? Because this is two handed. Um, this adds five morale to the party. Let's just, let's just do this for now, let's see. We can always change stuff up if we want. Okay, so we've got Centaur Lands. Um, didn't go too badly last time. Good old series. Let's not make the same mistake again. We'll go back and we'll, and we'll get um we'll get we'll get another um spell for them. There's six of them this time. Uh, do I really want to take over this entire shard? I'm 
looking at my gem income. Oh, I mean, I'm looking at my gems, and I don't really have that many. Um, so I'm going to retreat. And... I see no point in taking over this entire shard, to be honest. I don't think you get a bonus for it. So... Let's just attack him. if I can bait them into attacking me. Wow, well, I was hoping they were gonna surround me a bit more. If I attack this, it's, um, I'm, I'm pointing at it with my finger. If I attack the archer, it's also going to attack these. Super OP. Oh. Oh. And there we go. We will take... So we're so close to the end. We will take... Um, attack and counter attack. Decrease the upkeep. Um, increase resistance, and we will attack this commander who's got some militiamen. That's a bit sad. There's a lichen. We will hire a witcher to hunt the lichen down and we'll wait. That's super powerful because the lichen's a level a rank 3 unit. So if you've got the 400 gold, you know, it's always good to do that to then get a level 3 um, unit. Because um, yeah, normally it's really hard to get your hands on a level 3 unit. Deputy Shadow Vale Province has informed you that a huge swarm of locusts has turned up in their lands. If you don't take measures immediately, the insects will destroy the whole harvest. Force the local population to catch locusts. This is your subject of province to show they start to catch and kill the locusts, but there are too many insects and they're still destroying the crops. Well, I'll just ex execute the deputy then. The soldiers execute the deputy, but that doesn't solve the problem. The locusts keep destroying the crops. Well, deal with it. <laughs> deal with it yourselves. The locusts have destroyed the whole harvest in the province. 
then flown away in search for new food. The damage cost 144 gold. Famine has broken out. What a pity. What a pity. You can see how much I care. Let's go to demonologists. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? Or do I just want to... Let's see how long this siege is going to last. Oh, poisoned water. to web this guy, I think. <sighs> so did you send, stop sending, um, dudes at me. Otherwise, I'll die. There we go, the imp couldn't reach me. <laughs> and that's the team all that's dead. And we'll take some hit points and the silver ring. We'll continue to see seven. Let's cast Fair Wind. Let's get there as quickly as possible. Let's help with this siege. We will enter and continue the siege. Enter and ah, let's assault. Let us assault. And we will auto combat, no limits. Ah, oh, good, good summoning of um, the fits there. Yes, perfect. And we have destroyed the local lord. Okay, so we got a flag of defense in our treasury. We got a theater, a merchant's court, which gives us access to the duelist, um, which is uh, you know a simple level uh, rank two units to get. And a market which allows building storehouses in provinces. So, like building libraries, it gives you access to um, your shops and stuff in the province. So, that's good as well. As well as reducing the cost of resources and providing some income. Points gained 175. They call me Eternal Ruler Clavicus of the Dark. The legends and deeds will be remembered for 175 years. And I got the cartographer reward here congratulations your latest victory boss but I've got some bad news for you what's up this time we're not alone in the universe so yeah I'm not gonna read all of this but I won't skip through it as quickly um, as I did before to allow you guys to pause it if you actually want to um, read it thanks for your consideration so basically they're telling me that this guy, Oinor, has come along here. Um, I don't remember joining anyone. Um, so he's a goody two-shoes. He believes, he basically tells you about the law of karma, that you know, what goes around comes around. As far as I know, masters are fighting among themselves, whatever. Yes, alas, there is no peace among the masters. Envy and ambition often cloud some minds. 
Then why are you glad that another master has appeared? That's a good question. Because I hope you'll be wise enough to understand that war isn't the solution. War weakens us in the face of a common enemy. Who is that common enemy? And he will say, chaos, probably chaos. Power eager to destroy our world. I know I said that I wouldn't read this, but I haven't actually like read the evil options that much. Then why don't the masters unite to defeat chaos? It is just a grain of sand compared to the endless ocean of chaos. How could a grain of sand defeat an ocean? We're unable to conquer or destroy chaos. All we can do is stand strong against us. Let me take a wild guess at who will win this war. Do not despair. Chaos is enormous, but not all powerful. Its very essence is its greatest weakness. Chaos is the opposite of order. So it can't enter our world as it is. That's why it's sending its spawn. Demons of all sorts and shapes, born not in chaos itself, but in the underworld, the boundary between chaos and Eador. The demons are trying to destroy all of order, making it part of chaos. I see, and how are you fighting chaos? There are plenty of ways to fight it. Creation is one of them. By creating a unified world out of the order, the out of the shards we increase and strengthen the order. In some cases, the demons manage to drag isolated shards into chaos, but a whole world is more than chaos can consume. Well, that's just what I've been doing, creating my world. Sure, but simply creating worlds not enough you need to establish and enforce fair laws to provide for the happiness of your world's inhabitants. What for? I'll answer your question by asking you this. Do you know the fundamental law of the astral? Is it about water, chaos, and energy used to move between them? No, that's just the result of fundamental law. The law of karma. Yes, blah, blah. Law of karma. Never heard of it. That's nonsense. The strongest win. That's what it is. Oh, you've warned me. Don't worry, I'll settle things with fate somehow. Anyway. There we go. That It was shard number three um, that we have um, destroyed. We'll have a, and that's all of our tiny shards, so things are going to get a little bit more difficult and I'm going to have to not play as loose um, going forwards. But this is One Light the Clavicus signing off, and I hope you have a fantastic morning. 1.43am, see you guys later.